Hi and welcome. If you've lost or forgotten the password for your Apple Silicon MacBook, whether that's M1, M2, M3, etc., here's how you can get back into it without losing any data. What you'll need is to be able to connect the MacBook to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You will also need your Apple ID and password, and also another device which is signed in with your Apple ID, something like an iPhone. If you have all of these, let's get started. What we do is start with the MacBook off, and we press and hold the power button. It says continue holding for startup options. We can now release as it's now loading startup options. At this screen, we go to the options and click continue. We give us a few seconds. Here it says, select a user you know the password for. I'm going to go to forgot all passwords. And now it wants us to enter the email address associated to the Apple ID. So type that in and click next. Now enter the password associated to your Apple ID. Click next. Authentication succeeded, and now we can exit to recovery. Next up, we head to the top of the screen and go to utilities. Come down to terminal, and we want to type in reset password. That's all together with no space, as if it were one word. Hit enter. We have an option here, it says I forgot my password, click next. It wants us to sign in with the Apple ID, so enter your Apple ID. Enter the password for your Apple ID and click next. On your iPhone or alternative device, you will have a message asking for a verification. Enter the number says recovering file vault key and here you can see my two user accounts I'm going to select this one for the password reset next and here I can choose a new password so I'll keep it simple as this is just a test but do choose one which is secure and keep a good good mental note of it okay next Your FileVault volume password has been reset. You may restart and unlock the disk using your new password. So we'll exit and from here we can just restart. Go to the Apple logo, restart. We'll give this a minute or two to start up and we'll be at the startup screen. I'll select the test account and enter that new password I just set. And as you can see, I am now going back into my Mac. So I hope that's been useful to you. If it has, really appreciate if you can give it a quick thumbs up, it will help others discover it and hopefully get them out of their predicament. Thank you very much for choosing my video and I wish you a great day ahead.